Now, I didn't want to make this video, but it looks like it has to be done. Now, as you know, Watch Dogs, when it first unveiled the first trailer in uh, E3 2012, it showed the PlayStation 4 version. And I have to say, that version looked a lot better than in the PlayStation 4 version as of 2014, this year. Now... When you look at the 2012 E3 demo of the, well, the PlayStation 4 version, the colors, the lighting, and everything else graphical-wise looked a lot better than it does now. Now, Ubisoft has came out and straight up lied and said that they have not downgraded the graphics one bit. Now, if you look at the trailers in this video right now that I have playing on the screen, now the second one that comes up is going to be a lot slower so if you don't catch anything in this one be sure to check the second part of this video that's coming up well the second part of this trailer that's going to be going throughout the whole video now they straight up came out and lied and said we didn't do anything to the graphics we count we can't downgrade them that's impossible and if you look at the car from the E3 2012 and 2013 version for the PS4. Look at that car and then come back and look at that 2014 one that just appeared on the screen in the newest trailer they put out. Look at that and then tell me. And, and if you look right now, look at the left side of the screen, look at the right side. And in be there as it may that it's a PC that they're comparing it side by side to PC still 2012 version and 2013 version compared to the PC of the PlayStation 4 was still pretty good for a next gen title don't get me wrong the PC is always going to win out on graphics but for a, a, a console standpoint the PlayStation 4 really separated itself from the PlayStation 3. Now with this game, when it comes to the 2014 version of Watch Dogs on the PlayStation 4, you might as well play it on the PlayStation 3. And I'm saying that with a straight face because this is embarrassing to have a gaming company come out and lie and think that they're going to get away with it. Now, it's been a lot of backlash since this 2014 trailer dropped. And I keep saying 2014. I should just say this year's trailer dropped. But, you know, it's just me. You already know how I operate. But anyways, this trailer dropped. It showed everything. And I have to say, I was not impressed. When I The minute I noticed that a next-gen title goes back on its graphics then I really, really, really lose a little bit of hype that I had for it. Now, I'm not one of those that's going to overhype this game or just constantly make videos, you know, like other games uh, and other commentators did for, you know, certain games. I don't do that. You know, if I see something I like, I go ahead and tell you. But I don't just see the need to constantly report the same thing. I did that for NBA Live, but I didn't overhype anything. I just told you straight news that, you know, other people won't tell you or you didn't see for yourself. And I, al I always provided a link to everything I did. So you always, always saw where the news came from. It was always fresh. It was always true all the way through. Now, I can't help that the final product looks so ugly. Maybe we should have told them not to show the PC version the whole time because it misled a lot of people. But getting back on topic. Now, the event manager, Tessa Vlynn, she tweeted out the other day saying that it is impossible, you know, for the graphics to be downgraded. She said, of course, it is not downgraded at all. It's a true next-gen game for sure, for sure. Now, she said two for sure, knowing good and well that she's lying. Because the game, you have to be an idiot to not realize that this game is not the same graphics as before. Now, you got to understand that also the PC version is going to be, you know, a lot better than it was before. 
It's going to have those top notch graphics. It didn't go anywhere. Not unless they downgraded that too, which I don't understand how or why. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then she followed that up by saying, believe me, the game is not downgraded. And then she said after that, that would be just a bit ridiculous. I saw the game. It looks incredible. It looks what a next gen should look like. Now you tell me how going from what looks to be uh, 1080p, probably 30 frames per second, I do believe that's what they said the game was going to be. It went from that to being, what, what, is, what does this look like? 720p, what, 60 frames per second? No, nah, it don't even look 720, you know? The cars on Grand Theft Auto V look a lot better than this. No joke. You know what I'm saying? It's, it looked like they just took the PlayStation 3 version and put it on the PlayStation 4. You know, and say, hey, we just gonna sell it like this. Because you honestly can get this game for PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 and be happy with it, you know? You, you could, honestly. The graphics, if this is what we're gonna expect to see, a, a, a model car that looks like it belongs to a Grand Theft Auto game, that even Grand Theft Auto makes the cars look better, then what reason is it to buy this game on a console you might as well just go ahead and buy it on a pc because it seems to me as though the graphics didn't allow the game to work like they wanted it to work so they're going to give us less in order to make the game work better which why can't we have both why can't we have graphics and gameplay we're at a point in time on the next gen software hardware that we should be able to have both you know because people are always talking about well if you can't get the gameplay then can we just have the graphics and then you got other people saying well if you can't get the graphics can we have the gameplay you know it, it doesn't work like that when you build a grant when you build a game you go from ground up and you keep it an even playing field you know what I'm saying? Gameplay mechanics match up with the graphics. Graphics match up with the gameplay mechanics. That's what makes a successful game. But because we let these developers slide so much, they can just give us whatever they want, knowing good and well that they're going to get our 60 bucks because they make the game look nice, you know? 2K pools that all the time. Now, Watch Dogs will release May 27th of this year. And now it will, it will release for the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 4, and let's not forget that incredible PC, you know? Now, the Wii U version is not canceled for anybody that's wondering. It's not canceled. It's just set off to the side. They're not currently working on that game at all for the Wii U. Now... This could be due to them wanting to actually put more time and focus into the consoles, which I really don't see them doing because the console versions just, they just don't look like they're working on them, you know? It looks like that's in, uh, it's not even in alpha phase. It's not in pre-alpha phase. It looks like the game is in pre-development or something. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, you know? It is ridiculous that we are going to have to pay for a downgraded game that's supposed to be a top-notch game for next gen. I don't know what to say about this. Do you feel like you're being gypped or ripped off with this downgraded game? Have you canceled your pre-order yet? Do you feel as though they're lying to make sales because they said that it's not downgraded when you can clearly see that it's downgraded?